Hello everyone. This has been so long to do a live. I've been really trying to do and I'm so so happy and so much pumped up today because I've got somebody who's really really special. I'm so happy and I don't want to give too much about her because I want her to tell her story, but I want to tell I'm I'm going to talk about Claire Hardy and today we have Claire. Claire has been working with me for some time and it took a long time to come here but yes she's here today and i'm so excited for her as i was just telling her you don't have to be a celebrity to be celebrated so today we're going to celebrate claire her journey her growth and the kind of things she has done so welcome claire so good to have you here thank you so much it's good to be here lovely lovely so claire why don't you start up with uh, talking about yourself what has been your journey what all kind of things you have done uh, in past before you started working uh, we started working together mm. so i had the kind of typical upbringing really and um i was very fortunate i went to university and it led me into like the financial corporate world um with the hit of coronavirus and everything i was able to then have the courage to listen to my inner voice and my inner voice was telling me that i was meant for something bigger for something better and despite the fact that i've always been branded as the shy girl um speaking and coaching and helping others uh, has been what has come to me um so i thought well now's as good as time as any so why not give it a try why not give it a go um i gave myself a time limit uh, so that i did have in a way a get out of free card um that if i didn't feel it was going anywhere or, or i wasn't enjoying it that i would then be like that's okay i can go back to uh, the financial world which i know is one of my strengths. Um, so yeah, uh, and I think Toastmasters along with that journey has significantly increased my confidence to be able to go for it. <laughs> lovely, lovely. As I said, Toastmasters changed my life uh, and there's been so many people who have been completely transformed through Toastmasters. You had some, uh, and I'm, I, we didn't discuss about that. I'm just putting it and feel free to say no if you're not comfortable, but you had some of those experiences which really shook your confidence which really made you uh, not taking action uh, mm -hmm. would you like to talk about one or two of those yeah so i hit a dark patch in my teen years and it wasn't the typical teenage tantrums or anything it was um sexual abuse that i went through um that really hit every fiber part of me to the point that I actually started blaming myself uh, and coming across that I felt like I deserved it despite the fact that they were either my age for some of the instances but one was uh, a significantly older man but I can now see that I have strength because of that um, and I feel proud of myself for getting through that um from what was a very difficult time for not only just me personally dealing with that but also my family because it significantly affected my relationship particularly with my mother and mm -hmm. my mum is my absolute rock so i'm glad to now report that we are back on really good strong terms um like i you know i i love her to be pieces but um yeah, it, that was a, a rocky time that we went through. Wow. Well, I mean, thank you so much for sharing that. No, that takes a lot of courage. And I'm pretty sure anyone who's watching this right now or who will watch the recording will really deeply appreciate the courage that you have shown, appreciate the, the long way that you have come so far and coming here out, uh, sharing your story is not an easy thing. It, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of uh, guts. And so thank you for sharing that. And I I believe that you know, we all come here with a reason in the world. I think this is your calling and you're doing a great job. 
so tell us a bit about uh, your experience because we started working somewhere near january, january and uh, yeah not to you know bell my own truth or something but i want to know your honest uh, opinion about you know what has been your experience what did you learn and what has been the things that you have gone through so it started off with you as our president of our um trace master club just encouraging me uh to go for the competition i believe uh right. to which we then found out we had to do five within like two weeks so i did them all within a week <laughs> absolutely absolutely <laughs> Um, and then from there, I then signed up to your masterclass and your uh, uh, workshops and, and now to one-on-one to -on -one coaching. Um, like, I've always had a drive, but it was always a drive to the things I felt comfortable with <laughs> uh, and the things that I already had the knowledge and the belief that I could do, for example, like finances, like helping others. I've always had a natural desire for both of those. Um, but when it came to speaking, I was plagued by the fact that when I, in my first year at uni, when I had to do my first speech, I did the introduction and then ran out the room, passed out, uh, and never went back to do another single presentation since. Lovely, lovely. So, thank you for sharing that. Now, uh, tell us a bit about what you're doing because you've gone through a transformation. You yourself is, uh, you yourself are a coach now. So, tell us a little bit about what you do and what's your vision for future. Yeah. So from the uh, from my being made redundant, I then made the, the conscious decision to launch my own business called Poppy Dreams. And my hope and desire with that is to take someone from being a dreamer to an action taker. Um, I also do have experience uh, within mental health as well, um, but I'm not restricted just to that. Um, and like my in the last well, I'd say two months, my life has completely shifted. I've hosted now uh, three webinars, uh, a workshop, and I now have uh, two paying clients. Uh, I doubled my April target. Uh, so it's been a complete shift. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Claire. <clears throat> so there's a, there's a uh, comment from Deepak in the through LinkedIn and thank you Deepak for tuning in uh, that know uh, how to overcome stage fear. Uh, I can answer that, but I would like you to answer what has been your mantra uh, to overcome stage fear. And I know you're doing so much amazing. You're doing webinars, you're doing presentation. You did within a week, I think you did five or six uh, talks, which was so amazing. So how did you overcome stage fear? And then I will probably add on a few things on top of that. Mm. So yeah, so stage fear is something that I'm still uh, working on and still learning, um, but definitely being online has helped me, um, but also having my coach. So you pushed me, you didn't give me a, a choice. You were like, you're doing it. <laughs> and what's become my mantra, as you probably know, is say yes and figure it out. Lovely. And that really has been like putting in the work, putting in the practice, then getting feedback at each stage and then implementing that feedback. Each With each little bit, I'm growing more and more confidence. And when I first started like my first webinar, I made sure I had some friends on my call um, <laughs> because that was key to me because I know that there would be like, I'd have a smiling face staring back at me. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, they, there's been the the key things that have helped me when I now approach like talks and things. Lovely, lovely. So if I add to that, and I love that your perspective, like, first of all, you need to have a, a mentor, a coach, uh, somebody who's holding you accountable. You don't have to meet them every 
every day, every hour, every week, but there should be somebody who's accountable to you, who's uh, holding your hand. And most importantly, you have to understand that you no, know, everybody has stage fear. I mean, if even if you are the first time speaker going talking in front of three people, or you are a TEDx speaker, TED Talk speaker, you know, addressing hundreds and thousands of people, you all, we all have stage fear. What's most important is understanding the psychology behind that. No, you see, if I say you you are excited versus you are uh, nervous, it is the same feeling that we have inside. So if you change the way you talk to yourself, instead of saying, oh, I'm feeling fearful, I'm feeling nervous, you say that oh, I'm feeling excited. This is great. And I can feel that in my, in my body, in my mind, in my hands, in my legs. You will change your physiology. You will change your thing. So understanding that you will feel fear. And if I had a, had a pill or a potion to give you that, oh, take this pill and you'll be uh, fearless, uh, probably that's not yet, Mill, unless you want to go into alcohol and all, not, not recommended. But knowing that, that no, everybody feels fear gives you enough confidence. And the second thing is the audience wants you, more or less the audience wants you mm. to succeed. They don't want to. Have you ever been to a, a presentation where somebody was struggling? Did you feel that, okay, this guy is stupid and it shouldn't be there? Or you felt more connected to that person? Like, no, let me help him. Let me soothe her. Let me tell her you're doing great. So knowing that the audience is with you, not against you, that also helps you overcome stage fear. And then there are other things. You have to practice as many times. You have to get feedback and keep going and all. Uh, Another thing, if I could just quickly add to that as well, as you were talking, I was thinking my uh, my initial time before I come on has shifted as well. Like I don't just kind of, you know, feel really sick and then all of a sudden come to the stage, whether it's virtual or physical. Now I make sure that I don't eat heavy. I listen to the music that literally puts me in such a high mm -hmm. energy state that I don't feel it as much, especially not immediately as I'm going on. And uh, yeah, so my, my prep work um, leading up to the event has also changed. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. And Mohammed Musa is wondering what is that we are discussing about. So, uh, Mohammed, we are celebrating the great success that Claire has been working on, great job she has been doing. Uh, she has gone through a transformation in last three months. And I wanted her to offer a platform where she can come and talk about her journey and talk about the amazing things she has done and what's her plan for the future. So let's segue into the last part, which I just said that what's your plan for the future? What do you want to do and how you want to help people? Mm. So I have uh, created like, um, in a way, it's a revenue wheel because I am uh, an advocate to creating multiple income streams. But it's also like my goals and my desires. So on there is things like doing consistent webinars, uh, like doing a TEDx talk. I'd love to be able to host that stage one day. Um, hosting a mental health retreat is also something that's deep within me. And it doesn't have to be for people with what could be called you know, mental health issues. It could just be those that need a breather, need a break. Um, uh, another of my coaches is trying to uh, persuade me to write a book this year. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's all about promoting positivity and promoting like from those that make New Year's resolutions, only 8% actually achieve them. And getting like people who dream, because there's, we will dream near enough what many people dream and it's then getting them to shift from that state to then moving mm -hmm. them into action because there's enough for everyone to be successful absolutely absolutely the universe has abundance and it's it's abundant with all the things that you want to achieve so lovely lovely uh if somebody wants to uh if somebody wants to thank you deepak deepak is saying thank you to you thank you to you for guidance so if somebody wants to get in touch with you, uh, want to know more about you, want to work with you, how can they reach out to you? So there's a few different ways. I am on uh, Instagram at Poppy Dreams One. I am on YouTube at Poppy Dreams. 
uh, or there is my email, which is poppydreams1 at gmail.com. Uh, I would say that those three ways are, are possibly the, the closest way, or if they, you know, ha have access to you, Harachosh, then um, I'm, I'm more than happy to have my number uh, be passed along as well. Um, because, you know, when one of us goes to the next level, we, we all raise. Absolutely agree. I love I love that phrase uh, that one of us goes to the next level. We all raise. So lovely. That shows the growth mindset that you have. So yeah, anyone who's in my connect, he's in my network. If he wants, he or she wants to connect with Claire to reach out to me, DM me, or on Facebook, Instagram, or if you already are you know my contact, you can reach out to me. That would be great to share the details with you. Uh, Claire, we are coming towards the end of this interview. And I have to ask this, that if you have to give one message, one line to anyone who's going through what you went through a few weeks, a few months, a few years ago, and is looking up to you, what would you say to that person? Take the leap of faith, mm -hmm. but also give yourself grace because when you're taking that leap, when you're taking that step, it's scary. And I think giving yourself grace while you're doing it is very, very important. But also find yourself a community like Poppy Dreams. Um, I did forget to mention that I'm, uh, there is a Poppy Dreams Facebook group as well. Like find yourself a community that like encourages you when you're doing well, that supports you when you're struggling. But what's different about mine is we challenge you that when your words and when your actions are not meeting up, are not congruent, we politely go, hey, you've been saying this for a while now. How can we help you get into action? Lovely, lovely. Thank you so much, Claire, for uh, coming online. I know it, it took a lot of courage for you. Uh, this is not easy. But I really, really appreciate you. And I said, you have been one of my greatest mentee who's an action taker. If, if any time I ask Claire to do something, she'll be like, yeah, you ask me to do one thing, I'll do one and a half or I'll do two, I'll do three. <laughs> so you always surprise me. And most importantly, you surprise yourself with the kind of progress and growth that you get. So I'm so really proud of you. I'm, I have told you so many times in private, but I'm telling you once again uh, in, in public platform that I'm really, really proud of you and I wish you all the success. No, great job. And yeah, keep up the excellent work. So anybody who wants to get in touch with Claire, please reach out to her. I will tag her or whatever is there on the social media. Uh, and if you're not able to get hold of, you can reach out to me and I, I'll help you get connected with her. So thank you so much, everyone who are watching it live or who will watch it later. And as I say every time, until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep going out of your comfort zone. I hope to see you also getting transformed and see you with me in another interview soon. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend ahead.